glad to be back out there with the guys and uh, yeah, happy to be out there. Yeah, I watched a couple times. Uh, it's a little like, you know, we, we were both, he was trying to hold the line, I was trying to back check and caught me off guard when he put his hands up, that's all. But it is what it is. How unusual is it to have the hand up like that? I think he was bracing more than anything, but uh, that makes it makes me seem he saw it coming. But I, but it is what it is. It's it's a hockey play, and and uh, yeah, just gonna get past it. Now, hey, it wasn't wasn't anything major, so I'm ready to get back out there. Is it just a case of might as well be precautious. No need to push the envelope at this time of the year. Yeah, absolutely. It's just make sure everything you feel great and. Uh, and uh, you know it was back to back, so rather than rush that game and get the extra, get an extra couple of days here to feel better and get back out there with the guys today. We can obviously see the residual uh, impact of it. Was there anything else that, like, what were you dealing with? I guess uh, in the in the aftermath. Of it? No, it just didn't feel right. Um, but uh, you know the training staff, doctors, everyone, coaching staff, everyone was was good about it, and making sure you know, like like you said, precautionary, and we just wanted to make sure that uh, I felt the best I. I can, and you know, taking those extra couple days definitely helped. Intention is to, to be in the lineup tomorrow. Yeah, I'd like to, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But uh, it was like I said, I was happy to be back out with the guys, and you know, they got a big W in Ottawa, not back to back, so that was huge. What did you uh, just your adjustment overall? You know, I know you know the, the blip the other night with the coming out, but you're fairly satisfied how things have gone for this first several weeks uh, with the Leafs. Yeah, um, obviously as a team, we'd, we'd like to get a couple back, but uh, you know, again, there's just a lot of new guys and just trying to find what works. And but overall, you know, for me personally, fitting in with these guys, they've been great to me, helping me in any way, and uh, I felt like they've done that with everyone here, and you know, makes it makes it easier transition for all of us. So, you know, uh, I think we want to make sure we want to tighten up our game towards this last stretch here, going into the playoffs. What do you think so well with David and uh, I think uh, just the fact that uh, we kind of know what we're going to get from each other, and uh, you know, we're, we're not going to make crazy plays, or we, we know we're going to play a north-south game and be hard defensively in our zone, and uh, you know, we want to chip in. Obviously, everyone wants to score goals, and you know, we want to be in the offensive zone as much as we can. And so. In the back of my mind, I was thinking that if I went, I was just going to go back to that move, had success with it, and didn't have success with anything else. So, um, yeah, I just tried to come in from that side, open them up a little bit, pretend like I was going low blocker, and hopefully hopefully this five hole opened up. What do you like about that move? Um, I don't know. I think that it's... It's just it's when something works, you go back to it. I guess it, it, it's. I think it's difficult when you're moving when you get the mo goalie moving laterally a little bit and you come in with a little bit of speed. They can read low blocker and then it opens up. But it's not the not the nicest move in the world. There's. I, I think that Austin and Willie and Mitchie and those guys make make goalies look a little bit worse. Can that give you some confidence going forward, though, Alex? Hopefully. Yeah. Like, right? I mean, you're leaving the ring. <laughs> I nice. mean, I feel good about that, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's nice to see one hit the back of the net. Haven't seen one hit the back of the net in a while, so hopefully that'll be a sign of things to come. What does it mean to you? Like, the guys were pretty pumped. Mitch, yeah. like, he was yeah. jacked. Like, what does it mean that the guys were so happy? Yeah, I mean, they're... That just goes to show um, what, t what type of teammates they are, right? They want to see everyone else have success, uh, especially a guy like Mitch. He's, I mean, you guys are around him enough. You can see his energy all the time, and he's always like that. But, um, yeah, it meant a lot. And, I mean, we're a tight-knit group in here, and we want to see each other do well. And at the end of the day, we want to get wins. Did that move work like in a breakaway, like in the run of play, or is it better in a, when you have that controlled kind of shootout situation? I think it could probably work at any time. I don't know. Um, it depends. Like, you need a little bit of time. Can't have anyone coming behind you, that type of thing. But I don't know. I think that there's there's lots of better moves out there. <laughs> yeah. Well, it works. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what stands out about Yarncroke's release? Austin mm -hmm. was saying it's one of the prettiest he's seen. Yeah, yeah. It's it's really incredible. Um, obviously goes underrated. It's, he doesn't get the attention that maybe some of the best shooters in the game have, but. He's able to get it off, and when he gets it off clean, it usually goes in the back of the net. It doesn't look like he's putting a ton of effort into his shot. just comes off his stick real clean, and he puts it in his spot a lot of the time.
So I don't know. He's he, when he gets chances, he, he usually puts them in the back of the net. What's a key for the group now in the last dozen games here, do you think? Um, just finding our finding our way, right? Like I think that the last 12 games we want to be feeling good. Obviously, something we've been working on is closing out games. We've been able to get wins here as of late, but haven't liked how we've got the wins necessarily. And I think that um, it's just about building the full 60-minute game. It's cliche, but we we still have work to do, and we want to use these 12 games to get to make ourselves feeling as good as possible going into playoffs. Q is talking about fully banning. Fighting. Yeah, I'm just wondering, is it time? Like, where do, where do you sort of stand on, on that? Like, yeah, I don't know. That's a difficult one. I honestly don't. I don't want to stand here right now and, and give you a straight answer. I think that you can. I, I see it from from both sides. I think that it's a slippery slope if you eliminate fighting entirely. But I also understand that head injuries are a big problem, and um, it's it's a tough decision for everyone involved who has to make that. Hockey's a, a part of the game. I think it's in the game for a reason, but um, especially for for kids growing up nowadays, getting into the game, it, it's definitely a conversation that should be had. I haven't given it enough thought where I can stand here right now and tell you one way or the other. Yeah. Uh, first one, uh, I want to say thank you for uh, Kyle, for uh, Sheldon. Uh, this this guy's a really big support for me. Uh, I know I have a new opportunity in my life yeah uh, as a, my life is will be changed next few days yeah uh, yeah I want to say thank you for whole organization yeah let's get some a little bit extra time for me stay with uh, my wife and uh, it's a huge we stay together yeah a little bit more and uh, I'm happy to back right now today yeah and uh, I will go to road trip with the guys, yeah. When do you think the baby is going to come? Uh, it's hard to say, yeah. Just yeah. Uh, God knows this. Uh, yeah. I'm not a doctor, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, man. Uh, we'll see, I think it's next few days, yeah, it will be good. How are you feeling physically right now? Uh, I'm good, I feel good, it's good work today. Uh, Good goalie session, session and uh, good practice with the guys. Uh, feel good, feel power. Uh, yeah, I've got some little bit injury. Yeah, uh, nothing crazy, but uh, sometimes you feel this one. And uh, yeah, how I said, thank you again. Uh, this guy's Sheldon and uh, Kyle just got some <coughs> extra time for me for a uh, special my injury too. It's not a big injury, but. Is this important before a playoff too? Are you excited? Or are you nervous about becoming a dad? Did you talk uh, maybe to Luke about what he went through a week or so? Ago? Like half and half, yeah. <laughs> nervous and excited. To, uh, how I said, you know, like this new experience for me. Uh, you never know, but you just uh, what I know. This life, my life is will be changed. <laughs> maybe less sleep a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Had uh, a couple extra time for up at, at night, yeah. With what you're dealing with physically, you still feel good enough to start tomorrow, if that's what they ask? Uh, yeah, yeah. If it's uh, head coach said, you'll play, I will be played for sure. Uh, I feel good, good mental spot, good physically, I'm ready. What, is it connected to the knee that you had earlier, or is it a different issue? No, no, knee's good. Knee's Everything good. is good, yeah. yeah. We just need to fix it. Uh, it's not a big deal, just a little bit. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you able to uh, watch the shootout on Saturday night? Uh, yeah, yeah. What did you think as it kept going on? Uh, on? You know, it's hard game, hard game for Matt. We're talking about today. Uh, it was hard to play 54 shots, yeah, he yeah. said. Uh, yeah, I'm sure this game is really hard, and uh, he's played a strong game. <clears throat> I'm so happy for him. And uh, in a shootout, yeah, he's show his level. <laughs> yeah. Is it nerve wracking uh, to go on the road when? Because you're going to go on the road, right? Yeah. So is it tough? Like it could be any any day to not know when you have to go home? Or? Yeah, this is a little bit hard. This is not secret. Uh, but, you know, like uh, you need to stay focused on the game. Yeah, special for tomorrow. You know, uh, I'm live day by day right now. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, um, I just want to focus for a game. And my wife, she support me too, you know, like she's tried to talk with me a lot about, you know, like no stress, just to play hockey and we'll, we'll be figured out here 
because it's everybody helping for us here. You know, like we're so excited. We don't need nothing here. Yeah. yeah. What stands out to you about Yarn Croak's release of his shot, Kelly? What? what Yarn Croak's shot. Well, Austin said his release is the prettiest, one of the prettiest he's seen in a while. The way you can shoot it, Kelly. Yeah, he's uh, shooting really good. Yeah, he's uh, he's. He's really feel what's goalie doing, you know. Where is balance for goalie? If this for me is hard play with him, you know. Like he's uh, he's know what he's need to do, and a shot. And how I said, you know, like I'm not surprising what time as guys score, you know, a couple or three goals because I, I'm seeing a practice in this one all the time. It's hard to hard to be in a practice with these guys. Special for five or no, three or no. Yeah, we're doing a lot of this. <laughs> hey, yes, it's not fun for a goalie. <laughs> yeah. About uh, Noel, does he look like he's in a position where he's able to return? You think? Yeah, I, I, he looked good on the ice, and I know he's had good days. Uh, you know, since he he left the game the other night, so all signs point towards him being available tomorrow. There's been a lot going on in Luke Shen's life, so how has he sort of settled in into playing? Yeah, I think he's done a good job. He, you know, he, like you said, he has been been through a lot, and there's been a, a big adjustment, and I'm sure a lot of nostalgia at the same time. Uh, so it was good to get him in two games and back-to-back uh, nights like that. A little less time for him to think, and he's had some practice time and stuff like that. Just get out and kind of get in a bit of a rhythm. Uh, so yeah, I think. To, you know, for those reasons, I think it uh, it works out well for him in terms of the fact that he played back-to-back -back nights and just kind of flush everything and kind of get back into a regular routine. When you've got your your top scorers on three different lines, what does that do for you? Well, obviously, it, it it presents some challenges for the opposition in terms of how they're going to manage that. You know, it, but really for me at this point, it's more. Um, just looking at getting different lines going and, and obviously the loss of O'Reilly, you know, in terms of some of the different looks we would, we would want to be looking at this time of year, we're unable to do that, but there's some things that we can still try and at the same time I just don't think, we, we haven't had, uh, you know, outside of uh, you know, some good nights from, from Matthews and Marner and, that and them going, I don't think we've had a lot from there, you know, John and Will have, haven't, uh, uh, certainly haven't played um, with the same results that they've had you know, through most of the season here. They've cooled off a fair bit and uh, just wanting to help them kind of get themselves going, whether that's Mitch going with John or, you know, Will just on his own. I think he's not skating to the same degree that he was early in the season where he was a dominant player uh, for us. Uh, and we need to get him back going that way. So playing him with more with guys who are going to skate and move their feet and then he can be the guy that uh, really drives things. That's really the idea and nothing much beyond that. When you say he has to skate, William, uh, is that just an effort? Like, uh, in what ways can he skate better, I guess? Yeah, it's more, I just find, you know, and he and I have talked about this, you know, I just find when the puck's hitting his stick, his, his feet aren't moving to the same degree, he's not attacking. Uh, there's a lot more perimeter, a lot more just sort of getting rid of the puck. You know, I want him to hang on to it. I want him to challenge. I want him to be on the attack. I want to see lots of pace from him. That's when he's at his best. Uh, and so that's really it. Just get back to doing that. It's been uh, it's been too long now since we've seen that consistently from him. But uh, as we've seen through most of the season, it's certainly there. Samson off about to become a dad. So how does that factor into your? Planning for the weekend net. Yeah, it presents some challenges for sure. Uh, we're gonna just, you know, we're take a day at a time here right now, and uh, he's gonna play tomorrow. You know, he'll travel this today, and he's gonna play tomorrow. But certainly, yeah, as you can, as we could all imagine, he's on edge a little bit uh, here, just with making sure that things are taken care of here. Be a first-time dad, and, and making sure he's taking care of his wife, and all these kind of things. So, uh, you know, giving him that day the other day there is it. It was both an opportunity for him to, you know, to to rest and and you know deal with the things that he's been dealing with himself medically, um, but also just be there, you know, for his wife and, and all of that. I think is important right now. But uh, like I said he will travel with us here and, and be prepared to play tomorrow. Any other uh, Luke and Ilya? Any other babies on the way in in, <laughs> in spring? <laughs> Lafferty has one on the way as well. <laughs> Shootout for Alex, do you think? I know it hasn't gotten in the run and play, but to see that go in and yeah. the action. And yeah, I, I, 
I think it can only help uh, in terms of confidence and swagger. I mean, it's a big goal at a very important time, wins the game for us. And, uh, you know, uh, you, you come through like that for your team, it can only help you feel good. I know the guys really uh, made, made sure he knew how much or how happy they were for him. Um, so that's the one thing she can come out of shootouts and stuff like that. And it's not just him. I mean, Michael Bunting saved the game for us, you know, coming in there, uh, you know, kept the game going. That's, that's a huge goal by him as well. So it was another guy that perhaps uh, something like that can, can help him. When you get that deep in a shootout, are you basically just rolling the dice or are you still strategically picking guys at that point? Uh, it, it, you're pretty much just going off a of feel for me. You know, we have a pretty good sense of some career percentages and such for guys, but you know, when you get uh, get deep into it, I think it's really more just on just on feel. Like obviously choosing Bobby McMahon, I mean, that's solely on feel, and I've seen him skate down the ice and shoot a lot of pucks in the net the HL level, whether it's shootouts or penalty shots, breakaways or whatever it is. And, you know, in that moment, you know, it's his chance for his first NHL goal, pretty big moment. You just kind of go with it. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're really just kind of uh, just getting a you – know, just working your way through your, through the bench at that point and, and try to get a sense of who might respond well in that moment. What do you think's allowed Samson off to have this bounce back season? The, the personality and everyone's to them Sheldon every day, but – Obviously, the goaltending has been good. What's allowed him to come back and really be solid for you? Well, I think just right from the offseason, it first occurred to Sanford, and he really set out a good plan and got to work. And they've been very consistent with it, Curtis. I think is his demeanor, his you know consistent approach, you know that he takes every day. He doesn't go get too excited when things are going great. He doesn't get too down or rattled when things aren't. And, and I think he's able to transfer that on to the goaltenders to just can be very consistent in their own approach, focus on what they can can, can control and, and just get out to get after that every day. Uh, so I think that's allowed Sammy to just sort of settle in and he's had some bumps along the way. And he's, he's that's what I was just going to say. He just he rectifies that really quickly, which is this is what you're looking for. No goalie goes through an entire season without some some bumps along the way. Obviously, you know, the difference between, you know, the 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 top end goaltenders and really everybody else is that they do it more consistently and they are able to bring it back and that's what we've seen from him really both our goalies uh, so that's been really good it's a credit to them for putting in the work and Curtis has done a really good job with them. Do you get to see using Gustafson on the top power play unit at all down the stretch experimenting with that? Uh, we'll see we'll, we'll see we want to I, mean, I think it's important like you would and all the time, you always sort of have an understudy there, you know, that's working with the second group and making sure you have somebody ready. Obviously, for Gus in Washington, he was taking on a ton of that responsibility and excelling in that role. So we're mindful of that and just want to make sure that he's up to speed uh, in terms of what the other guys are doing. You'll get to see uh, Pierre Engvall tomorrow, following along or had a chance to see how well, I've seen he's had some success there, and you know, it's good to see for him. He's a guy who's put in a lot of years, a lot of time, and really developed here in our organization. And with me specifically, you know, helped helped uh, me and Marley's win a Calder Cup and came a long way there, and uh, played a lot of important minutes for us. So it's good to see him go to a go to a spot where and a team that's still hungry and competing to to be in the playoffs.